Hey there folks, today we're going to be showing you how to install an IKEA kitchen cabinet rail. This rail will support your cabinets when you install them, both for the upper and lower. We're going to be showing you on the lower ones. So usually you would drill through these holes and you have to use a stud finder to locate your studs. However, we're going into concrete, so we don't need that. So just make sure you double check what material is behind your wall. So we're going to get this open and show you how it's done. All right, so these rails come in 84 inches and they can be cut. If you do need to cut it, I find an angle grinder is the best way to go because it's quickest and easiest. So when you open it up, it comes with all these tabs. We'll show you how to use them. It comes with instructions and these little plastic pieces. I just take them off before we install. All right, so as per the instructions, we are installing base cabinets with countertops. So you want a line drawn at 32 and 3 16 of an inch. So we have our line right there, that's the representation of that measurement. And that line is going to be on the bottom of the rail. So this is how it sits. This is going to be 32 and 3 16 of an inch underneath it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our laser level on. You can use your bubble level, whatever kind of level you want. So we turn our laser level on here. I already have it pre-measured out. So that laser line is going to ride on the bottom of our rail right there. So now what we want to do, get it roughly close and you're going to take a Sharpie here and we're going to put a couple of marks here. And you just do this every foot. If you have concrete, if you have studs, it's every 16 inches. All right, so then you're gonna grab your drill with the appropriate style drill bit according to what material you're drilling into. And all these dots that we just drew, we're going to drill into those. They don't have to be perfectly level because you will use these little tabs later and you push them up or down to level the rail. All right, next you're going to grab the appropriate screw again, according to the material you're drilling into. Then you're gonna put these tabs in. So bring your rail back up to the holes here. And we're going to set this tab, so the larger hole is at the bottom there. And we're going to roughly screw this into place. Don't do tight all the way just yet. Then you're gonna go along and attach the rest of the screws just loosely till we need to level it. All right, then you turn your laser level back on and make sure everything's level and tighten down the screws. All right, so if you look at the back of all your IKEA cabinets after you assemble them, you'll remember putting these tabs that are the hangers. So this top tab right here is going to hang off of this right here. All right, so depending on the size of the cabinet, you may need some help lifting it. Just be careful. This is a fairly small one though. So again, just put those hooks and now that's hanging nice and secure, but we're just gonna show you how to quickly level it. All right, so actually before you level this, you want to lock it into place. I made the mistake of leveling it first and it pushes these up you need this to be hanging only on the rail and lock it in and then you level it so to lock it into place you're going to grab your hardware box and inside you have these two little tabs here 
And if you look at it, there's a small arrow on top that is going to face up. You look at the back of it, there's this half circle that's going to go into this half circle piece right here. Use a flat edge screwdriver, turn it 90 degrees, same thing on the other side. That's locked and then you go ahead and level it out. All right, so front to back, we're just going to put our bubble level and we just want to get that it's almost level we're just going to do a little bit i'm going to show you how to level it with the feet on the bottom all right so these will help level it so you have four of them one on each corner you see they're floating the back ones i like to just bring them down till they're meeting the floor and do a nice little partial tight twist And we do the same with the front. And you check with your bubble level again up top and you raise or lower your front accordingly. And that's all there is to it. So that is nice and sturdy. All right, so now you just get your bubble level again one last time that looks pretty good to me once everything is all done you're going to take these decorative caps and put these pieces facing the inside like that slides on covers up all your hardware that's all there is to it folks hopefully you found this helpful so this was how to install the support rail hang a cabinet, lock it into place, and level it. As always, everybody, please don't forget to like and subscribe.